so let's actually uh, take a look at some of your Warcraft and Starcraft pieces. Here we have the Pandarian. Ah, uh, yes. So tell us a little bit about the Pandarian. Uh, How does the panda get into the fantasy uh, realm? Well, it started off, uh, you know, a bunch of years back when uh, I, I had a, a daughter, right? And mm -hmm. when she was born for Christmas, I usually draw a picture for my family, like a personal one. And so I did, for that picture, for some reason, I decided to do like a panda guy because actually, you know, also Samwise, panda is like my nickname because I'm kind of a big hairy bear dude, but I'm not very fearsome. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got the nickname panda, so I drew, okay, I drew a picture of a panda with a little panda cub mm -hmm. on the shoulder. Right. And that was the picture for Christmas. You know, I gave to all my family, and, oh, it's because he had a little kid, he's getting soft, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's for the family. I had to do something that, you know, grandma would like. But So we put that up in there, and everyone was like, oh, my God, a panda race? Uh -huh. That's kind of cool. I'm like, are you kidding me, really? You'd want to see pandas in, in Warcraft 3 or whatever? <laughs> so, so, you know, we, we made, like, a whole fake April Fool's page with different units and mm -hmm. all that. And people, you know, we thought people would be like, no way, you know, but everyone actually liked it. And when they found out it was an April Fool's joke, they're like, oh, that sucks. You know, so we've kind of just dropped little bits of panda stuff. Like, I do that all the time in my pictures. I'll hide a picture of a panda face. Like, nice. it was on Illidan's blades, oh, you yeah. know, back in the day. Just put it on there, you know, <laughs> see if anyone noticed. And they did. Good That's job, cool. guys. Two points. <laughs> um, and uh, ever since then, it's just been kind of a... A thing where like, oh, you're the panda guy. That's right. awesome that yeah, it finally did uh, so. show up in, in a Warcraft 3 in the taverns and such. As actual playable hero. Yeah. Oh, the cool. brewmaster? Yeah. 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 He's, uh, he's actually a cool character. I wish we could uh, see more of these little guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, so let's go with the next piece that we have for StarCraft 2. Uh, the Dark Templar is a huge favorite. Um, a lot of people were comparing it to... Um, other sci-fi figures as well. What do you think about the Dark Templar? How did you how did you change the way conceptually um, it was looked at from uh, StarCraft the original? Well, I don't know exactly what the the story guys are doing, but whenever I do a picture, I have my own kind of story in my head uh -huh. to you know start off with. So basically, what I thought is you know uh, you know the Zerg you know or sorry the the Dark Templar world Shakuras you know there's Zerg on it now. So now these Dark Templar you know after the Protoss came. You know, some of the Zerg came with them, and they're like, "Oh, now we got to defend our home." So, this is actually where you get to see like some of the Dark Templar people besides uh, the Zeratul guy. You know, Zeratul is like a you know, a, you know, secret agent type ninja guy. You know, he's got the, the the face mask and the the one long lethal blade and all that, and he's like kind of a special character. Well, in StarCraft, all of our Dark Templar were like that because we didn't have time to make mm -hmm. uh, another character for that. So we just, yep, everybody's this guy. So in this one, the idea was is to show a little, like another um, version of the Dark Templar. Like the Dark Templar aren't necessarily that one ninja guy; they're a race. So that's why we tried to incorporate units like the Stalker, and uh, you know the Dark Templar here are more of like uh, you know hardened soldiers that have been battling Zerg on their homeworld. That's why they have these you know kind of the Zerg bones uh, on their body. They're kind of like trophies, and they have mm -hmm. where the Protoss have you know like the kind of gold armor the dark templar have a more like bluish silver and instead of the blue crystals like the regular protoss have the dark templar have like these zerg bones and and banners and stuff like that and that was just like you know the idea um for coming up with the dark templar and then you know i wanted to kind of give them a different weapon type just to make them you know not so much like their protoss guys the protoss mm -hmm. guys you know have the two hand blades the zealots well, let's make this guy, you know, a little different. We'll keep Zeratul with the hand blade. He's cool like that, you know. You don't want to change Darth Vader. Um, mm -hmm. But for the Dark Templar themselves, you know, let's make them look like, you know, they're a little bit more, you know, they just have a different weapon kit. They have different armors than their Protoss brothers. They definitely look a lot more hardened, I guess. Like yeah. Like been forced to adapt, I guess. Right, and I know, uh, you know, again, some people are really, really... Uh, into the new Dark Templar. Some people don't like it. I, I, you know, I'm like that too. When I see, you know, movies and they change something about a character, I was really into. You know, it ticks me off too. So I mean, we're still working on it. You know, if 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 it turns out that the idea doesn't pan out, we have no problems redoing art here. Mm -hmm. We do it constantly. I mean, not not one piece of uh, art that we have in the game is is final until the game ships. So if you love a character, awesome. If you hate a character, don't worry. We'll probably change it. <laughs> sure does. All right, for the 
for the next unit we have the Zergling. I know everybody's been just dying to hear about Zerg. So could you tell us a little bit about how the Zergling has changed uh, compared to StarCraft 1 or just about this concept piece in general? Mm -hmm. Well, we took the basic uh, shape and style and, you know, the elements of the Zergling that everyone liked, the little small hoppy guys, you know, mouth full of teeth and claws and all that. And when doing the concept, it's like, okay, yeah, this is, you know, cool, we got a Zergling. It's a little bit, you know, tweaked different than the original one, but it's like, well, what's, what's new about this guy? So... The idea was, well, hell, let's put on little wings so then when they leap and they're swarming, they could, you know, fly up and attack stuff and jump on top of buildings and do all that. Now, whether that gets in the game or not, who knows? It's just the concept. But that was the idea, you know, mm -hmm. seeing swarms of these guys running around with their little wings like, brr, brr, you know, flickering <laughs> yeah. around and stuff. So, I can see uh, there's some bullet holes and stuff in the wings as well. Yep. This one got lucky. It's just through the wings. <laughs> nice. But that was basically the idea was to take, you know sort of a you know a cool cool character from starcraft and then give it the next level up like not changing what it is like everyone who looks at this won't say what the hell's that you know it's a yeah. zergling you know what it is it's a zergling lester a different kind of zerg um but, you know we decide to add wings you know it's, it's starcraft 2 baby you know we don't want to be you know doing something we did 10 years ago and just doing a 3d version of it so how would you recommend um other people like artists get involved in uh, the video game industry or just getting involved in, to become an artist, you know, full time. All right. Well, for getting into the industry, I would totally recommend taking any kind of courses in, you know, like Max or Maya or any other 3D programs because that's how games are made now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very, you know, unless you're doing flash based games, you know, stuff like that, you know, you're going to be, you know, doing 3D. Mm -hmm. So, you know, get involved in that. Even if you're just a concept artist, like, uh, some of the guys on our team, you know, we really want we really want guys that can do you know a variety of things. Mm -hmm. Like our concept artists on our team, you know, we can all model, we can all texture. We may not be like as kick butt as some of the you know, you know Blizzard cinematics modelers, of course. But you know, like you know, we can all the all the characters you know in StarCraft too are made by our concept guys and our texture guys and stuff like that. That's cool. You know, and uh, I guess another thing too would be try to be really well-rounded you know a lot of places just want a guy who's a texture artist and all that's great but if you can if you you know if you're just a texture artist but then you can also model stuff and texture your own things then all of a sudden you're 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 worth more like oh man we can count on this guy to do whatever all right thanks a lot sammy for uh, spending some time with us to talk about all this no problem man take it easy all right see you guys later